Elon coming out now, first and ten. Into the ball game is Jeff Davis. He's split out to the left. O'Leary, oh, runs over a few people. And he gets out across the 30-yard line. Now, if any more points are put up by UCF or, or a lot more time runs off the clock, Elon's going to have to come out of this game plan. But I think they're going to stick with it right now. It's really early. We're starting the first quarter. So, uh, you know, they can move the ball on the ground. They know they can. So I think they're going to stick with that a little while longer, see if they can break something there. They're just shy of the 30-yard line. It's second down and three from the 28. James Goodman involved in that last tackle for the Knights. There's Taylor, Craig Taylor. Dwayne Clark. Close to the first down, but not quite. That'll bring up a third down and very short, as we'll look at it in just a few moments. Here it is. Here's the play, just closes in on him. Nothing he can do about it, no room to run. Goodman on the tackle. He's doing an excellent, excellent job of filling in for All-American Wyatt Bogan. Had a great game last week against Bethune-Cookman. So good, in fact, we almost forgot Wyatt Bogan wasn't in the game, Tony. We did. The defense was flawless, as Coach Gene McDowell told us this week. Dwayne Clark, first down, and the Christians now get something going, 33-yard line. This is about their deepest penetration thus far. Yeah, there's no need to panic. They know they can run the ball, so they're going to keep with that a little while. James Goodman there making the tackle once again for the Knights. First and 10 from the 34. Clark has seven carries now for 21 yards in the first quarter. Little mix up in the backfield and thrown out incomplete. That was kind of a busted play from the beginning. You see the fullback will run into the quarterback. And I think he just kind of realized that something's astray when that happens. And of course, it's a bad throw. He just throws it into the dirt. That's number 84, Chuck Ward. He's 6'5", 235 pounds from Roanoke, North Carolina. You see some of the Elon coaches. They've got to figure out something to do, something to get Clark more yards. It's only averaging three yards a carry right now. You see, I'm doing a good job of stopping him. That's Mackie Carden to your right. He's the head coach. Fourth year here at Elon. He knows how to win. He's 22 and 8 here at Elon. Taylor. The counter play is going to Larry for a couple. So on the second down and 10 play, the ball given off to O'Leary for two, now third down and eight as James Goodman once again makes the tackle for the Knights. What UCF said they wanted to do defensively was just have their tackles hold up, just keep people off their linebackers so their linebackers could roam and stop those tailbacks from making those quick cuts and breaking some big plays. And it looks like it's working so far. Black running, just under a minute to go in the first quarter. Back to pass, Taylor rolling right. And near the first down marker, well, where he caught it was a first down, it looked like, where he fell out of bounds, looked like he uh, was kind of back a yard. Completed to James Jones out of Bloomsburg, Virginia. Going to be close. Keith Evans with the coverage. I think they're going to time out the measure. We'll check it for you. Keith Evans. 5'11", 185-pound junior from Fort Lauderdale. Had a chance to get uh, to know him quite well last spring. And he was constantly talking about the fall season. We'll take a break now. 51 seconds left of the first quarter. The Knights lead 21-0 over Eli. 